Good evening and welcome to the Job Search Solution, the radio program where we talk about looking for a job, changing jobs, changing careers, hiring. And as always, we begin with a prayer. Dear God, grant us thy peace and thy mercy. Thy will be done. And in just a few minutes, as always, on Wednesday evenings, we welcome Rich Levinsky from East 57th Street Partners talking about consulting in the workplace and what's coming up for the new year. By the way, I've been getting emails from our listeners and our viewers about some of the ways to improve this program. I welcome them. I don't have a problem with criticism at all. Um, <laughs> it's part of the life of a recruiter. It happens every day. You can email me at Tony at Babich.com. That's T-O-N-Y at B-A-B-I-C-H.com with your comments. I've been getting some recently and I really appreciate it. It makes us better and makes us think. And um, so please don't hesitate to comment on what you hear, what you see, or of course, any subject you'd like us to discuss. We're here for that. After doing this since 1973, I can never going to run out of material, but I want to give folks what they might be interested in. I wanted to address a situation uh, that happened over the last um, 18 months uh, that I wanted to share with especially employers out there, people that are actually doing the hiring. I had a candidate that uh, I went to work with actually 18 months ago. And he's had, he had three jobs in three years. And many of my clients that I tried to present him to just dismissed him totally because he had three jobs in three years. I got all kinds of comments like, what's with this? I've interviewed people like this. I've hired people like this and they never work out. Three jobs in three years is not tolerable. That's too many jobs. I'm not going to interview him. I won't talk to him. And um, it was kind of a shame. So having done this for so long, there are a lot of my clients out there that will simply see a candidate based on my say-so. I've interviewed more than 100,000 of them. I sometimes, uh, all, I have an idea what looks good, what doesn't. So I called up a friend of mine and um, sent him on the interview without the resume. Didn't even know the guy had three jobs in three years. 18 months later, he's the number one salesperson in the country out of 22 salespeople. And he's going to probably set a record for the company this year. And the reason I mention this is that the idea that a candidate has had, quote, too many jobs, unquote, is, well, I understand. There's a tendency to think that if a person's had three jobs in three years, they're going to be at your company for one year, and then they're going to leave. But that's not necessarily true. Now, I don't know what the statistic is about who becomes successful and who doesn't and what percentages of people uh, are successful. But you owe it to yourself if you're a hiring authority to interview candidates if they can do indeed your job and find out why they left those positions. Now, the reason this particular candidate had left the companies he was with were very reasonable. Two of them went out of business. Now, of course, you could say, well, that's because he didn't sell enough. Oh, yeah, but that's not really what happens. Look at the reasons that a person has left the positions. And then look at a person's track record. Now, the reason that I bring this up is that the candidate called over the holidays and wished me a Merry Christmas and thanked me for the job and explained to me 
that he was the number one salesperson in the country and that he had been promoted once already. And this year, if he does what he's going to do, uh, what he's supposed to do, he's going to be promoted again. The average job in the United States lasts two and a half years. The average company in the United States only stays around 6.8 years. When I got in this business, the average company in the United States was 59 years old. Things have changed. So don't just look at a resume and say three jobs, three years. That's not going to work here. Uh, I, because that's just find out what the performance of the candidate was, why that candidate left those positions. Do some backdoor um, references on a candidate. Surely you can do that. Judge each one individually. Please do yourself and your company a favor and don't necessarily just look at three jobs in three years and dismiss it. Now, I get all kinds of excuses like, well, my higher ups will look at this and say, why did you hire this person? And uh, my boss won't let me get away with that kind of thing. And I've been burned like that before. Well, you've been burned for lots of reasons before, mainly because you made a poor judgment or things just work that way. So please, do yourself a favor. Talk to any reasonable candidate you can. Make your own judgment about that person. And quit making a total judgment on how many jobs the person's had. There are lots of people that have been on their last job for 10 years that may not be all that successful either. All right, we're going to take a short break. Stay tuned. This is Tony Bashar with the Job Search Solution.